All right, before we get started, just want to say thank you to those who have watched, are watching, and will watch. Really appreciate it. Goes a long way. Let's get back into it. Okay, so. Oh, what was that? Weird. Okay. So we're gonna help this uh, this place out a little bit, so we can unlock a little bit more stuff. I assume you're not um. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it. Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here, Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Mm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. I'm trying to find whoever sells stuff here. You're new here too, huh? I mean... Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of the Excuse time. me. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Oh, most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Sure, ah, nice. Let's take a look. Let's do some business. You're who I needed to talk to. Good. I think I just can just get rid of all of this, right? And any items that I can get rid of. I want this over this. Oh yeah, get rid of that. That's 13 damage. This... Let's see, 0.38. Oh, that's way better. If I shoot off my flare gun on this island, will people come to help me? Huh. Why do I have a tray on me? Let me see what ammo I can get from this guy. Ooh, 0.45? How much value? Okay. Now, stop doing that. It's always, like, far left or far right with this game. Oh, 500? Just for 100? Uh... 
No, reset that. What? I'll do 50. Or I'll do 350 caps. Because my other thing is, I want aid. I want... Stimpaks. Oh my gosh, 704? All right, fine. No sense turning your nose up at something that might be useful. Turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam were. Is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's... Dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I don't know. What if she's double-crossing us? Just entirely. I haven't found anything yet. Okay. Let me know when you've found something. I doubt breaking into Dima's memories is going to be simple. Let's see what we can do here. What damage we can do. I would like to go here. How do we get out of here? Dang it, it's nighttime. Oh boy. Okay. What's up here? Whoa. Oh, let's get rid of the rad. And then let's sleep for eight hours. Nice. Okay, so where to? Oh, really? Okay. Is that a synth? Or is that just like a doll? I think it's a synth. What was that? There are no police Avery. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, or much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. I'm happy to help with anything I can. If you say so. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Mirelurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Sounds good. What should I do first? There's so much to do. Uh, 
I have so much active right now. Let's... Let's just make some money here first. Yeah. So is it through here? Oh god. I hate this. Jeez. No, no, no. Nice. No, no, no. Right, right. Oh, we have a lot of meat to use, too. Or cook. Looks like Howard didn't make it. I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I can... I'm gonna repair all this stuff. And make it clear for me to walk. Right? Can I get hit by that lightning? Why do I feel like I'm gonna get attacked soon? Oh, I think we're fine. How did I know? Which is perfect, because I needed meat any way to cook. Alright, cool. So we can go ahead and get back. Fast travel. Easy peasy. Alright, where can I cook? There's gotta be a cooking place nearby. What are you looking at? I hope Howard's okay. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? He died trying to get those condensers fixed. The man is a hero. Yes. Yes, he is. I'll make sure we remember him as such. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Captain, nobody's gonna want to help you out, unless you're prepared to pay a fair wage. Do I yes. look rich to you? That's all the caps I can spend. No. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Gordon is like that. I'm wondering why he got those crabs. Oh, okay. Hold on. One sec. Okay. So... Now that we got that going... I'll tell you what, I imagine... 
Well, let me look for some place to cook first. It's wanting me to go back there. I don't want to. I want to cook. Guns, guns. Fresh shipping. Mainlander Whoa. like you stands no chance against the crawlers. Damn those fairy fools. And damn the island for sending them after Petey. I lost my home when the fog rolled in. Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Mm. Is there no place to cook right on island? I can take it. Children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. The hole needs men. You know, it just don't fit huh. itself. I I'll mean, the island proper get you wood, off steel, nail. Oh my goodness. Nobody Big shops got to come. Louise sell guns. Over by the tourist shop. I don't know where we would be able to. I hope the harbor's being good to you. You stowaways alive. Is that Codsworth? Oh, okay. You're back. Are you that detective I've heard about? I guess you could say that. Oh, wonderful. I wasn't sure how I was ever going to find you. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic. But, well, we may have a murder on our hands, and we need an outside set of eyes. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Yeah, let's go. Let's be off then. Anything to unlock some more stuff. For fast travel purposes. Oh, right here. Nice. I totally forgot about this place. Perfect, perfect. Faster? Well, I'm surprised we haven't been attacked yet. I mean, we did clear out most of the area. Nice. But I'm looking for food. 
I'll take that rat away, though. Sorry, sorry. Oh god, this looks big. Where'd she go? Drat. The elevators seem to be out of order on this level. I'll have to take the long way around. No. I have a of exercise, man. Man, they are fast. She didn't even let me look around. Nice. Nice. That's what I said. Else? <laughs> 
No, no, no. What the hell? He say rich man Was this a trap? Trap. Oh, come here. Hey. Nice. Make it quick, will you? I thought we picked up some other stuff. Ah. Hot plate. Wait, like animal ones? That was for sure animal ribs. What? Oh, that's a skull. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I need. Ooh. I need help. It? That's all it had? This is a big place. Where's the other one? That's a... That's a strong one. Oh, jeez, you're strong. Okay, 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 okay. What are you? Where's the door?
Okay. Yeah, we're going we're going to the outdoorsy area. All that. And always sell what we can't use ourselves. Why don't I? I wonder if it's gonna be like completely normal. Come on. Come on. Somebody press the button. Vault. What's on your mind, Captain? Greetings. Welcome to Vault 118, your home away from home, underground. Are you the detective we sent for? It's me, Pearl. I've returned with the investigator. Let me just get the door for you. Wow. Well, it's about time the police sent someone out to investigate. We have many Look how clean this place is. Very worried. Let's talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. Oh. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. Well, your 
ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents, but their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Oh wow, they're not going to let me take anything? What is this? And serve. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is Robo Brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. I guess someone else felt the same way about brains and machines. I Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Is this... blood? You did it! Red paint? Protect and serve. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. This place is trippy. Talk about the murder. There will be plenty of time for that. We have more important matters to attend. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal yeah. order. This oh, nice. The last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 37. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project this way. itself. Tell me, what does this one say to you? 
It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its I head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. Must have said. Well, so far we're getting it. Please, I'm trying to investigate the case. He's dead. Your questions won't bring him back. We must look forward. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lot. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. I found red paint at the crime scene. You know anything about that? No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last gun. Now I can't find it. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, Detective. Do you not see this white fear from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Never mind. Ha. Huh. Okay, so maybe not him. I mean, it still could be... I don't think it is. I think somebody was trying to frame him. Wow, what a big place. So bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. Uh, actually. Uh, tell me something. Sure, darling. What did you need? Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. Simply put, darling, I'm the greatest actress in the world. When this international scuffle blows over, I shall return to the silver screen and lead the world to a new golden age of cinema. Did you need something else? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, oh, oh yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question... It was fever pitch, detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? Hmm. 
I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing. Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else? Hmm. No. Never mind. I'll be around. Languishing from your inattention. Ugh, fine. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Tell me about yourself. Well... As you probably know, I'm an actor. I don't like to brag about it, but my last picture, The Fighting Furies, it topped the box office. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Never mind. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the other people? Protect and serve. What's here? Oh, we can take some of this stuff. Oh. Bingo. Collecting antiques, are you? All right, so where is it? Is it above? Overseer. Where's his room at? Oh, nice. Sealing yourself up in a steel hole to escape. Uh, like trading one kind of hell for another one. What the heck? Get healed up. <laughs> Why not? is so not right bro Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pain in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. So, sounds like Ooh. Israel was 
embezzling from his investors. <clears throat> okay. And where is he? Protect and serve. Is he the dead guy? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you? Protect and serve. I think that's it. I think that's all the people, right? Oh, wow. Some questions to ask. Sure, darling. What did you need? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds. Said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while. Uh -huh. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around. So. Back to Santiago, I guess? What the heck is he? My fellow connoisseur of the art. You have to see my latest form. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but... Even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, he kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. I don't think he did it. I think he's being set up. I just don't know by who. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer. Right. Of course. Look at this mess. Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh, well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, she's been so much more pleasant lately. Uh, I mean, it's been nice, but also a bit unnerving. Most people don't really understand uh, us. Uh, yeah, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. What allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh. Was there something else, for Detective? Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met my wife, Juliana, already. Uh, not sure. What else to say, really? Was there something else, a detective? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me well, about that. I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, I didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I kind of had my head in my 
research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Mm. Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Robo Brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Most people don't find it all that interesting, and I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, the detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but, but without the neural inhibitor and the recondition. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else, the detective? I'd like to hear more about your research. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I wanted to help with the investigation. Oh, was there something else, the detective? Robo brains have a voice modulator. Tell me about that. That's what allows us to recreate our original voices. They can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there something else, the detective? What if... Never mind. Very well. Just me I mean, she would be the prime suspect. Sure I can clear that no. Oh. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another goal. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Yes, month you were convinced huh. you had Hello, detectives. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? But maybe Good luck. he just said that they can... What would you even know about it? They can, uh... Copy voices, so that's interesting. I don't know. And she changed. So, what if? What if she's not? <clears throat> what if? What if she's actually Ezra? And and this is actually Juliana. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here. Should. So how do I? What do you mean, Juliana is not the same person? My wife has always been a very Harsh woman, detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, detective. Was there something else, the detective? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Please just go. I... I feel like this is his wife. And that... That's Ezra in there. Is there anything else? How do I accuse? I'll be here, should you need me. How do I accuse them? What is this? I'm lost. Where? Protect and serve. Ah. Detective, did you have a question about the 
of heinous murder. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Well, Never mind. Good Let's go talk Reggie. to the actors now. Man, this place is huge. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Ah, maybe. Okay. Okay, where's... Heard about the experiments they did in places like this. Human decency. Maybe I should talk to the female actor? Or actress? Say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? All right. Keith and I first met when we acted together in Empire on the Nile. It was a period piece, huge production budget. He played Mark Antony, and I, of course, played Cleopatra. Ooh, how I hated that black hair, though. Sean Holzman, he was the director, you see. Well, he threw the most lavish set parties. They were absolutely bacchanalian. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around. Ah. Be there, tiger. Here for more stories about my acting career, or something else? I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much a woman I am. Care to hear some of my stories? How, how much longer can I go with the. Oh. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds good, Detective. Uh. Wait, what's happening? What? We probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, Tiger. Wait, what? What? What did I just? What? Huh? Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Never mind. Okay. What the heck did I just do? Oh my. Oh, Jesus. I feel... S what the... I feel so dirty. Oh, my God. All right. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you... I want to solve the murder already. Hey there, Tiger. No, no, no just keep going. No, 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 just keep going. Please, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, gosh. I think it's on the other side. I want to go talk to the doctor again. What am I supposed to do? Actually, let me just go look. Ah, oh, gosh. Let me go look at my stats. Ah, oh, I feel so... Ah... Uh... so dirty uh i feel sick Hello, detective. did you need something i'd like it yeah, I come. Hello again, did you need something maybe later very well 
Uh -huh. I've literally talked to everybody, so what am I supposed to do here? Investigate Santiago Avida, Juliana Riggs. Like, there's no more I can do with them, though. What am I supposed to do with them? And then I hate coming in here because I all I hear is this. My fellow connoisseur. Uh-huh. Never mind. Maybe there's stuff lying around. I wonder if uh, Pearl has something to say, maybe. See what you got. All of our items. Oh wow, you got a lot. Okay. I just don't have anything though. Huh. Yeah, I just don't have anything. That's sad. I'll trade you that. I can purchase a little bit. I'll buy if nah, maybe a hundred. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Uh, nah, nah, nah. How do I... What more is there to do? Protect and serve. Like, is there something from... The Overseer's place that I needed to read? Oh my god, that was creepy. I was like, what the... Is there somebody here? I've already read all this, but maybe I missed something? Okay. I wonder if I switch to or a change outfits 
if he'll let me. Hello, Doctor. I'm here to help. I'd like to hear more about your research, right? Oh, okay. Never mind. Is there something... No? So maybe talk to Julia more? I don't know. What? Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions? Never mind. Okay. Just... <sighs> like, what the... Your guess is as good as mine, man. Where the f... I need to confront her about it. Oh, okay. Except I've talked to her all I can. Protect and serve. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Uh-huh. Tell me about it. I'm Juliana. Did you have any... If you ask me, it's... Tell me. I'm Julian. There's Never I mind. can't press her. Who's the other person that I can talk to? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here. Is there this isn't blood? It's red paint. We can take that. Perfect. The baseball bat. <laughs> what is this Protect doing here? And serve. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such Was a thing. Was there anything else? That's not blood around the body. It's red paint. Mr. Santiago would definitely have red paint. But surely he wouldn't have... Would he? This is just terrible, detective. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you... That's it? Okay, so... Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Give it up. I know your secret, Juliana. Or should I say, Ezra? Well, detective, that's quite the claim. It's a shame. I thought I, I knew could it. keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence. Detective, just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Huh. Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I 
thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? If I'm gonna let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Uh, so it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? You... What? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. Why'd the robots help me? I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. What is with all this pre-war money? I don't... It's useless to me. I hate you all. <laughs> Can I go back up? You guys suck. <laughs> Best to grab it now while you can. Oh, whoa. What is this place? This actually looks pretty cool. gnarly what busted through the wall though is there a Cool. What? What are you doing down there? Huh? Well, that sucked. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, how? Did I just fast travel? Oh, darn. You know, you, you could just turn around. Yeah, two guys looking. Yeah. Longfellow wanted to he was uh you know 
lonely. Holy cow! Okay, seriously, how far... You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Really? So how the hell do I get out of here? Let's try it again. like it's glitched because of the zero zero I, I mean not because of it but I'm wondering if it is glitched oh oh nice okay so now I can just jump down here okay well that was cool uh so i guess let me go back to town And then... Oh, what happened? Why is everybody out here? What the heck? Children, bastards! You were right, Adam. Now will you listen to sense? The children of Adam need to be wiped clean off this island. You've had your blood today. I can't stomach any more of it. All of you. Show's over. Go home. What the heck just happened? Huh. The mainlander. Great. You helped us on Mariner's Hull, but we didn't need it. This is our island. Our fight. Not yours. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. But there's one exception. That is, if you meant what you said to Avery about the children of Adam. Anyone willing to put those bastards down? I'll sell my top shelf ordinance too with a smile. Show me what you got. You got it. Oh, but I don't... Oh, wait, I do. How much are you willing to buy for all of this? Oh, wow, that is quite a bit. Okay. Hold on. He only has 457. Oh, great. I will take that 457, though. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me purchase first. I'll take a hundred rounds. And then, 
I will take 957 of those caps back. And then I'll take some more of these. Please stop. And then some more. That's enough. And then, whoa. Oh my gosh, 150 damage? Jeez Louise. What kind of uh, aid do you have? Yeah, I'll take that and I'll take that. Nice. Uh, I need to talk to him. I need to talk to you about our missing synth. Yeah? Well, it's not something I talk about with outsiders. So you can either buy something or move along. Uh... I'm working with Chase. She told me that your designation is L-792. Hey, I believe you. Keep it down, all right? It's real private information. I don't know the synth you're talking about. He's a younger guy. Maybe early 20s with white hair. Goes by the name Darren. Hey, yes. He showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Thought a courser was on his tail, so he rushed the timetable. To be honest, the guy was a wreck. He was scared shitless, looking over his shoulder every five minutes and attracting unwanted attention. I tried to calm him down, but he panicked and ran off into the fog. That was the last I saw of him. Can you tell me anything else? I'm going to need more information than that if I'm going to find this. I wish I had more to give you. He disappeared into the fog, and I haven't seen him since. All right. Relax. I'll take care of it. Sorry. My nerves are a little shot right now. Look. If you're really going after that synth, I'm pretty sure you took the road south out of town. Maybe you could head that way. Just be careful out there. And thanks. There are many who go out in the fog to help a synth, especially one they don't even know. I feel like shit about what happened. I really do. I hope you can make it right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about the children of Adam. Like, how am I supposed to... Um... Not kill them, I guess. Hold on. All right, let's go. Oh, nice. Not nice. Is he in here? No. How am I missing all of that? Oh boy! This is Beaver Creek Lanes. Well, we might as well clear it out. While we're here, you know. Anymore? Oh, God. 
God, what the frick? Someone or something else. Anymore? Why? That's fun. really do. You really got a problem. Yikes. Where? Oh yeah, we can get rid of that now. Cool. I won't be able to pick this. But I want to. This mess. I was waiting for one. <laughs> Let me reload. 
right, let's go. Don't go. Let's go somewhere where there's a lot more room. Uh, said safe. There. Nice. Hey. Hey. Let's go. I was hoping to find some more war money. Or pre-war money. Okay, let's carry on with this mission. Oh, there's sure to be some here. I hear it, I just don't see it. What was that? There he is! Ah. 
That's a lot of duct tape. Ah. What is that? Oh, there he is. Uh, hmm. There's a trail of blood. I don't even see anything. Get rid of the rads. Oh, I'm a level up. Nice. Found a final resting place. Fresh meat crawling in from the fog. Don't care if it's my lurk or man. I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to find someone. A young man with white hair. You help me, I'll you leave. You won't leave. Ever. What? What the hell is wrong with you guys? Shot, old man. Go. Oh, nice. I can cook uh, some meat in here. Selling what you build ain't a half bad way to make a living. Oh. Really? Wait, that's what they sold me in town? You mother truckers. Dirty water. Hey. I don't think any of that was like better than mine, right? Yeah, I think all mine was 30. Go on. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so... So what happened? Oh, he didn't make it? Oh. That sucks. Well, let's see what else we can do. Or maybe we just go there now? Yeah. Go there now and get the XP. Get the XP, whatever she's going to give me. I think she's going to give me caps. Is that what she said? I don't know. I just expect money nowadays. <laughs> Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. Poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And 
Shall we say 200 caps? Given the risks I took to find your synth, I think I deserve more than that. I suppose that's a fair yes. request. 250 caps then. Nice. I'm sorry things didn't turn out better. I wish they had. You and I both. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. Oh, nice. Let me go sell. I could have jumped down. Dang it. Uh, where's the guy? Katie is far away enough from the institute that we don't have to worry, right? Wait, where's the guy? Uh He should have been right around here. Any luck? Have you found a Hey, Kasumi. Any luck? Have you found a way in Uh-huh. I got this program that Faraday Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Demon was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into I it. wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does. Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Okay, that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guard. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Nice. Oh, nice. Requirements not met. Oh, level 31, okay. Actually, so where is our guy over here? Ah, there he is. Acadia may not look like much from the outside. Hi. Need something? But it's all some. Let's see what you got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting. No, I don't. There's no room for hope. Don't say that. When I first. But I heard uh -huh. and now I don't care. Why You're lucky are you talking to me? Place. I wanted to. Yeah, I get I'm just gonna. No, oh, uh, where'd he go? <clears throat> Need something? I'll take a look. Sure. Now we're talking. Gosh, dang it. I had extra stuff. And then Oh, that's 18 damage? No. I don't want that. And then there was something that I had that I picked up and something was better. I think it was the calibrated 10 millimeter. But I picked up a way better one. Or did I sell it? Oh, right here, right here. So yeah. Perfect. And now let me purchase some ammo. 
Ooh, that's cheap. Actually, I might just buy them out. And then I'll buy a hundred of this. Oh my gosh, they're all cheap. Wait. They're actually all cheap. Why is this place so cheap? And then where's heads up? Swapping supplies. Oh, there's a take all option. <laughs> Need something? Let's see what you have. Let's do some business. I think there was other guns that I had, yeah. Let me just do a sweep through. I don't really use melee weapons, so... I don't really use grenades either, but just in case, I'll keep them. Okay. I think that's all I can do. All oh, the value is four here. The other place was three. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Nice. Okay. So, what do we want to do now? I think what we're going to do next is... I don't know. I don't know what else we should do. Let's finish the Brotherhood stuff. Well, let's go there, I guess. Is it? Oh my gosh, it's all the way over there? How do I get there? Don't tell me. Do I have to go here and then down? And that looks broken, so around and then down? Oh, man. Oh, man, that's such... Oh, we're gonna die so much trying to get there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we take it slowly? A little at a time? And where's that? 
Okay. That's a little bit doable, right? Yeah, we'll travel that way next go around. I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it here, but uh, yeah, I just want to take this time to say thank you to those who have watched, are watching, and will watch. Really appreciate it. It goes a long way. All right. Adios.